Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope that you're all having a marvelous Monday thus far. And so in this video, I'll be taking you guys through what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas, as well as uh, that disturbance that could become our next tropical cyclone acquiring the name Dawn. And we'll also be looking at the uh, Saharan earlier map and hopping over into the Eastern Pacific Basin where there are two disturbances. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. And so as we take a look at this satellite imagery here, we can see that there is some thunderstorm activity moving through the southeastern Caribbean. Now that is in association with uh, one of the weaker tropical waves that has made its way into the region. And so as a result, there is a pretty good chance that there will be some additional rainfall across sections of the southeastern Caribbean, the Windward Islands, uh, even going down into parts of Trinidad and Tobago as well. Uh, as we're going to be heading throughout today but going further up north things should be on the drier side and uh, behind it we have all that activity now that is in association with the next tropical wave that is likely going to be inducing a bit more rainfall across the lesser Antilles and northeastern Caribbean but looking across northern South America right now we're not seeing where much is happening especially as we go to Guyana Suriname and French Guyana over there and uh, we can even see a portion of the Central American territories we see lots of showers and thunderstorms storms developing uh, just in the vicinity of parts of Nicaragua going to Costa Rica and uh, Panama as well. As we move more to the west here we have a better picture of it and aside from that and that little blob just in the vicinity of the southernmost part of Belize uh, sections of eastern Guatemala as well we see uh, that there isn't a whole lot happening so uh, not much for Central America however it's likely that there's going to be quite a bit of rainfall as we progress through today. In the vicinity of the Cayman Islands there is some thunderstorm activity activity. Much not going on for Jamaica but there is some thunderstorm activity in the area and are close to Cuba as well but going on to Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, heading up into the Bahamas in Florida there isn't much activity. But as we head throughout today, uh, especially to the afternoon hours, it's likely that there's going to be that isolated uh, shower and thunderstorm activity as a result of the daytime heating. And so now we're taking a look at what the GFS model is expecting in terms of the rainfall as we're going to be heading through today. Now, as the map becomes more colorful, more rainfall is expected. And so uh, we can see here that most of the rainfall through today is likely across some spots in Central America, going to Northern South America, especially especially across Colombia and Venezuela as well. And uh, we even see that chance of some substantial rainfall across sections of the uh, Lesser Antilles. But of course, as we head more to the Leeward Islands, less rainfall activity is likely. The ABC Islands has a chance of some rainfall today, but a pretty low chance of that. And across most of the uh, Greater Antilles, going to the Virgin Islands, Cayman Islands, uh, maybe some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially as we head to the afternoon hours. Similar story as we take a look up into the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. So that is what the GFS model is expected. And so now we want to move on to the Saharan air layer map. So as we see more of these shades of oranges and reds, that is where we have more uh, more abundant areas of that dry air. And so a lot of that uh, dry air is now extending into the Caribbean, the Eastern Caribbean, and uh, it is helping to stabilize some conditions. So that is why we're not seeing a whole lot going on with that tropical wave that is in the region right now. There is just some activity across uh, the southeastern part of the region so uh, nothing crazy is expected but there is that other tropical wave some activity in association with it and that is exactly to approach as we head into the midweek and uh, increase the rainfall chance for most areas over in the east and that is if it holds itself together because all this dry air as I said it helps to stabilize weather conditions let's see if this wave is going to manage to sustain some activity or enough activity to result in that rainfall increase but it looks very much possible at this point in time. Uh, likely another wave coming off Africa. There we have that blob of some activity out there. And so uh, in terms of development now, we want to go ahead and take a look at this disturbance. So uh, the chance is higher compared to yesterday morning. So it now has a 30% chance to possibly develop into something. And notice that we're not seeing an X as yet. And that is because that low pressure area hasn't yet developed. But once it does, uh, it has a chance to occur some tropical or subtropical characteristics and uh, could acquire the next name for the hurricane season which is done and I think it has a pretty solid chance 
However, if when that low pressure area develops, it doesn't really grab that opportunity to get itself together and accelerates more to the north, then that will limit chances because as we increase in latitude, uh, there is a decrease in the sea surface temperature. So things get cooler as we head up more to the north. So it really has limited time uh, and it really has until this weekend to try to get itself together. But even if we do see some development, it is unlikely that this will be a threat to land. Now we want to go ahead and hop over into the eastern Pacific. We have to disturbances in vests 93 and 94 and 93 e did not take advantage of the uh, small window of opportunity it had to get itself together and become a tropical cyclone so now that chance has significantly decreased just as what i said in yesterday's update so it is now down to 10 percent so unlikely that we're going to be seeing development and this should come off the forecast map the outlook map uh very soon and then as we look to the southeast of it though is invest 94e given a high 90 percent chance to develop through the next uh seven days so this one here could become a tropical cyclone as it accelerates more to the west but it is unlikely to be a threat to land however that rainfall activity in association with it is quite widespread even into some spots of southern mexico there is lots of rainfall and thunder storm activity right now and uh with all that rainfall there is a pretty good chance that there is even some flooding in some areas so i hope that everyone is doing okay this morning and so uh that is what i wanted to share with you guys in this update and as usual i will continue to keep you informed on all that is happening so that is pretty much it for right now and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i will respond once i get a chance and remember to always be weatherwise